Hey everybody, this is Mr. V and this is Apes Review Video Topic 9.10, Human Impacts on Biodiversity. So first thing we want to do is make sure you understand the letters HIPCO. This is always this always tends to be a really good way to answer um, free response questions on why a species might be um, impacted uh, by humans uh, or the ecosystem may be impacted. And so you know this is not specific to any one organism, so you can't just say the whole thing, HIPCO. You have to actually be specific to each organism, but these tend to be the reasons. So it's H-I-P-P-C-O, habitat destruction, invasive species, population growth, pollution, climate change, and overexploitation. So habitat destruction is clearly the removal of habitat, um, such as trees or uh, water or something like that. And then, of course, invasive species is going to be something where you introduce something that's not supposed to be uh, around, and that ends up outcompeting your native. Or you can have population growth. That's going to be where um, human population tends to be kind of the overall problem, right? So our population growth causes us to destroy more habitat or introduce invasives or so on, right? And then, of course, pollution can be air, land, or water. We've gone over those. Climate change, which we just finished going over in previous PowerPoints. And overexploitation or har overharvesting, which is going to be when you end up um, overhunting or uh, basically just removing a species because you end up taking too much. And so, of course, now with the big problem we're seeing is habitat fragmentation. These larger habitats that were once big, large areas are broken apart. And, you know, this can be because of road construction, pipelines, agricultural, logging, um, or even domestic use, right? And so um, that's actually been a, pre a previous free response question um, several times for habitat fragmentation. Of course, not, know not only knowing the problem, but the solutions as well. And we'll go over those in just a moment. And so obviously some species are going to respond differently to this fragmentation. Some are going to migrate or move. Some may become endangered or extinct. Others may thrive in that situation. And climate change is going to be a big issue as this goes because the temperatures, precipitation, the sea levels, the habitat itself may change overall. And that's going to have a big impact globally on the species around the world. So, you know, we've seen this with like honeybees and livestock. Those are domesticated species that have come in, uh, and so you know they've had m very high losses in biodiversity. So while we may have a large number of domesticated versions, the external ones that are not, they are, are that are not domesticated, they're having issues as well. So you know how can we fix these problems? Well, we, with mitigation, where we create protected areas, where we use habitat corridors to connect spaces that have been broken up or you have sustainable land use practices so that soil erosion doesn't occur, things like that. And of course, restoring previous habitat. So in this example, um, this is a local area from here uh, close to the Rio Grande Valley down at the bottom of Texas. Um, they have a place called the Bahia Grande. The Bahia Grande was a restoration project that uh, originally a ship channel cut it off from the ocean in the 1930s. So it was dry and almost like a little desert area, right? In the early 2000s, they reconnected the water and the area filled up and the habitat has been slowly returned and it's now currently a wildlife refuge again and the species over the last 20 years have been returning to it. So that's a good way to mitigate and restore previous areas. So that's a good example of one. So here's some resources to help you with that. Hopefully um, this has been helpful and if you've made it through the whole, the whole series of videos, then congratulations. I hope you are feeling more knowledgeable and ready for the AP exam. Thank you.